Hey guys, so in this video, we'll be going through the Newman projection and the confirmation analysis of 1,1-dichloroethane. Now here in my hand, we have a 1,1-dichloroethane molecule. Again, you observe there, the two orange balls represent the chlorine atom, the white balls represent the hydrogen atom. And as usual, the two black ones that are a bit bigger in size, these are the carbon atoms. So if you realize that there are only two different a unique Newman projection that we can draw for 1 dichloroethane this staggered and eclipse. Now, so the first case, if you look through this, you will have a staggered because you can see all six atoms. They're not blocking each other, right? So, chlorine and chlorine here, side by side. Now, if you notice that no matter how I turn, do you see? Still staggered, still staggered, but as I turn, what happens is, the relative positions of the chlorine remains the same because they are bonded to the same carbon atom. Whereas I change the metal group at the back, do you notice? It makes no difference. And hence, you only have one staggered conformer. Now, for the eclipse. For the eclipse, you see that when I try to block the bonds using the front carbon, here, chlorine blocking the one at the back, chlorine at the front here blocking the one at the back, Right, you see. So, again, there's only one eclipse because that's all you can do. I can rotate the back carbon. It's going to be the same eclipse as just now, no change. Rotate again. No change. So, that's why there's only one form of eclipse conformer for 1 1 dichloroethane, which means that all in all, there's only two different Newman projections you can draw for this molecule.